Dear child of God, they thought they brought that problem to destroy you. They thought they brought that challenge on your path to finish everything good that you were doing. Dear child of God, they thought they brought that problem to see your very end. But they lied. Because very soon that challenge, that issue, that situation will be the means to your stepping stone to greatness. Will be the means to your exaltation in the mighty name of Jesus. You see the word of God in Zechariah 4 verse 7 says, Who are you, great mountain? He says, you will become a plain in Zerubbabel's presence. He says, you will become a plain. Dear child of God, if that problem, if that issue, if that situation is of no purpose, is of no beautiful benefit, God will make sure that problem is dissolved. God will make sure it is destroyed. He says, it will become a plain in your presence. And he said also, he will position the capstone, exalting over it. He says, how beautiful, how beautiful. And if that challenge, dear child of God, was there to see your greatness, God will make sure it will be the means to your exaltation in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, not all problems are bad. Not all mountains are bad. I want you to understand this, dear child of God, because some problems some situations, some challenges on your path is just there to reveal the greatness in you. It's just there to reveal the potentials that you carry. Dear child of God, there are some problems. There are some situations that would make you relevant. Yes, they may have intended it for evil, but do not worry. That was what happened to Joseph. They meant it for evil, but God had something beautiful. He was working out of it. He had mountains, yes, he had heavy mountains. He was lied upon. Joseph was lied upon. He was literally on some mountains. He was going through some problems, dear child of God. But God made sure he did not take that mountain off his life. God made sure that mountain was the means to his stepping stone. God made sure right in the prison. You see, sometimes you may be asking yourself, why do I have to go through all of this? Why am I suffering? Why do I have to suffer? I want you to realize today that in the midst of that valley, in the midst of that situation, in the midst of that mountain, that may be where God wants to raise you out from. It was right in the mountain. And then the things God had placed inside of him, his special gift, yes, the graces of God upon his life was needed. Then it began to manifest. And right from the prison, right from the problem, Right from the mountains that he was faced with, yet child of God, Joseph became the prime minister. I want you to know that your relevance will come in the time that sometimes you least expected. Esther was faced with a mountain and that was when the grace upon her life was manifested. Dear child of God, that is when we knew Esther. That is when we knew Esther to become that queen, that excellent queen that she was. She would have become the queen without anyone knowing. But with the mountain in her path, with the mountain that she was faced with, she redeemed the entire people, yes, the entire nation she was from. I want you to realize today that God is taking you through a process. And the enemies may have planned that this would kill you, this would destroy you. But dear child of God, I want to assure you, this would announce you. He said, who are you, great mountain? Are those mountains people? Dear child of God, God will give you a way around them. God will cause you to excel. And right before their eyes, God will use them to be your elevation point in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, every day they are talking about you to bring you down. Every time your promotion is mentioned, they are the ones always speaking about you. Even without your name being mentioned, they want to say something about you so that you'll be discredited. But they never knew that every time they speak about you, they were announcing you. Dear child of God, they brought their allegations upon you. That placed you all over in the media, forgetting that they were announcing you. And now you have become known and the grace of God in your life has begun to manifest. I want to assure you, dear child of God, that sometimes those issues may be your making. Those mountains may be the outcome of the things that God is intending to do out of your life. Those challenges 
that you are faced with may be birthed in the process of your greatness, don't discard them, dear child of God. Don't pray them away, dear child of God, because God has something that he always works out, my God. He has something he always wants to do in the life of his people, if they can only trust in him. Yes, he had said that you can speak to these mountains and it will be casted off, it will be thrown away, it will go into the sea, dear child of God. Those are mountains without purposes. Those are mountains without beautiful benefits. Dear child of God, those are issues with no relevance. It is true that there are some problems that you are faced with that are just problems. Yes, they are just challenges adding nothing to your life. Only bringing about miseries, only bringing about pains, only bringing about challenges. You see such a mountain, God will give you the grace to speak to those mountains and it will be casted off. It will be thrown away. It will go deep into the sea and you will find them no more. But if that mountain is supposed to make you great, dear child of God, if that problem is supposed to make you known, you see, the tribal friends were thrown into the fire. It was a mountain they were faced with. They were faced with a mountain to bow, but they didn't bow. But what happened? That mountain led to their promotion, dear child of God. When they were thrown into the fire, the fourth man showed up. Jesus showed up and gave them victory. What happened at the end of the day? They came out of the fire and they were known. They were recognized and they were promoted. It was a mountain in the beginning. But their elevation, their promotion, their recognition. Yes, the means to their relevance began from that process. I want to assure you, dear child of God, that you have something in you that will solve the problems. The problems of your community, dear child of God. The problems of your nation. The problems of your household that will cause you to become so great. That will place you in the pedestal that no one around you can ever get to. He says, and he will position the capstone, exalting over it. God wants to exalt you. He says, how beautiful, how beautiful will he become at the end of the day? So if that problem is supposed to make you known, dear child of God, Ask the Lord to give you the grace. Ask the Lord to give you the special ability and strength to be able to withstand it in the mighty name of Jesus. Not all mountains are bad. Jesus' recognition began when he went up to the mountain. He was led to the mountain to be tempted, dear child of God. And he knew how to manage those situations. He knew how to get victory out of the mountain. And what happened at the end of the day? When he came down, the scriptures recorded that his fame spread abroad. Luke chapter 4, it became relevant. It became even much more known. I want you to realize today that not all mountains are bad. Dear child of God, some mountains are there to position you in the place of your greatness. To take you to the height that you are supposed to be. And I pray for you that God will cause you to get there. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will cause you to be elevated. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will cause his face to shine upon you. He would be gracious unto you and it will cause you to testify. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be defeated on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name, no mountain will crush you. No mountain will oppress you. Dear child of God, no problem that the devil is bringing on your path would ever succeed to bringing you down. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the victorious one and I want you to know that. And you'll be more than a conqueror that the Lord God said you are. In Jesus' mighty name, I call it done because it is settled and you shall be greatly exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus, get ready to experience the greatness of God. Get ready to experience the might of God. Dear child of God, get ready to experience the power of God. You shall be made visible. In Jesus' mighty name, get set because God would announce you through that problems you'll be able to solve. Through that mountain that you will be able to bring a solution. Yes, that mountain around your life that you were able to create ways and path to reach into the top. God will guide you. He will give you wisdom. He will give you understanding. He will give you the knowledge that you need. Dear child of God, you will not regret any of those times that God is taking you through those mountains in the mighty name of Jesus. Because something beautiful, like he said to Joseph, yes, they meant it for evil, but at the end of the day, I did it 
so a good can come out of it. And Joseph was glad to say, you meant it for evil, but look at the good that God has brought out of it. Dear child of God, you would overcome those mountains and it will be the means to your exaltation. People will look up there and say, how beautiful, how beautiful you have turned out. But if the issues are of no benefit, no beautiful benefit, I pray today that God will make them plain. As you pray today, God will dissolve those problems. God will dissolve those situations. So when those mountains are coming, embrace them. As long as there is something meaningful that God wants to bring out of it. And I want to assure you, you would have no reasons to regret the powers of God, the might of God, and the blessings of God made visible in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.